Now that I am logged into my Fluency Tutor account as a student, I'm going to see recent activity when I first sign in. However, my teacher's probably assigning things through my Google Drive, so I can click on My Drive on the left, or in this banner, I could click on Google Drive. And what's nice is it immediately searches for Fluency Tutor documents. And so here are my Fluency Tutor documents that were assigned by my teacher, and I can open them. And notice this is very similar to the view for the teacher, except now I have all of these tools that my teacher um, approved me to use. Remember if I checked that box that I want it to be a cold read, only the record button would be visible, not the um, text-to-speech option that they're providing here in the purple. And the students, again, can change what um, voice they want to hear it in if they don't like Ava's. And so when the child is ready, they can click record. They need to approve their microphone. So now I have to click start recording because I just allowed my microphone. So now I need to click start recording. The students have to read at least a minute. Otherwise, the data that you receive is very skewed. So start recording. It's telling me it's recording. Baseball. Baseball is known as America's pastime. The United States is not the only place where baseball is popular. Then when I'm done, I click stop recording. If I'm a student, I can um, play back the recording and listen to myself. I can even download it. So I save my own recordings myself instead of leaving them all on Fluency Tutor. Some students may want to do that. Completely personal preference. And then when they're done, they hit I'm finished and that's going to send the recording to their teacher. Oop, remember I checked that box that said my student had to answer the comprehension questions. So, in which, so there we go. It will also read the question to the students as well as the answers. If anybody needs that accessibility feature. Saving the work and it's sending it to my teacher. And then it's telling me how much I've recorded so far this year. And then I can also listen to my recording if I come back at a different date.